We've got all the schematics. How many pages did you print in the end? Um, overall, uh, 50, uh, 50 out of 200. 50 out of 200 pages, just for the Celica. This is a Celica loom, yeah. which I reckon one of these must have connected to some sort of light, to be honest. This is the ground for it. As you can see, you see the black and white grounds there? Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, so this traveled round the backs in a similar fashion to this. The starlet one comes the opposite way, the ending is the opposite way, but as you can see here, this is the starlet one there, and it grounds with a similar ground, black and white ones, which is connected through these, these boxes here. And it travels down along here, travels up here, and goes that way, but these then connect separately, like this. There's a ground to the case of this thing, right? I thought that it was going to be the return loop of the current, right? But it looks like the casing is just simply grounded, like, like safety ground, basically, which is fair enough. But that means there's two wires, two wires for each of the of the lamp uh, circuits a positive and negative like going and coming back so that's two wires each that's four plus one for the ground that makes five so in a similar way to this that would be five right so there's two wires for each of the lamps plus ground that's five i mean if we guess that the wiring on this and this must be similar since a lot of other things seem to be um, look there's five connections there five connections there this is the celica this is the starlet yeah right there's no way they actually fit <laughs> you got to be kidding me <laughs> we now have the celica loom plugged into the starlet loom <laughs> Yeah. That might work. Apart from, I reckon these might be in different, in different orders. Uh, different yeah. orders. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah, this, they are in a different order. <laughs> but that's okay. So what, do we just need to arrange them at the same order as the start then? Yes. Same colors, same. Or reorder this in the same order as this, it doesn't matter. These connectors lined up, right? But actually, if you look, if you look carefully, it doesn't. That top right one here is empty. The equivalent on that side would be that one. It's full. Oh. That's it. Done. It. <laughs> it's all over. Go home. Back up. <laughs> Close the YouTube channel down. Yes, hundred percent. Yeah. At least I could send it uh, to family and be like, "This was his last moments. His last words were, look at this light.'" <laughs> Nothing's happening. Oh, we've got an indicator which is staying on the whole time. No. Nope. Indicator. But that's not the light when indicators need to flash. All right, cool. So I'm starting to work this out in my brain. It's taken me how many hours? About five. <laughs> So we're getting there. Yeah. <laughs> we took that off, didn't we? Because we didn't understand what yeah. we're going here. <coughs> now we know it's a two element bulb, okay? Yeah. Okay, that's done. Okay, those two are connected. So this is IO, this is that one, right? And pin 11 is, should be, according to this, um, green and white. So let's have a look. Uh, we've got, we've got 13, 12, 11's that one, is it green and white? Mm, it's this one 12, 11, 10, 9. Oh, shit dude, I think it's actually correct. Yes! <laughs> no. Nice! <laughs> cool. This is really helping. So okay, we've got uh, that connection sorted out which means we're, we're good up to here. So what we need to do now is find the switch here, um, which will be on the instrument panel, sorry, on the, yeah, on the instrument panel wire, which is 
this thing and it should be green and white and it will come out somewhere <laughs> over there so yeah this is the connector for the um, brake pedal switch that we were looking for all this time <laughs> i thought it was a bum on the dashboard <laughs> yeah for that one there <laughs> <laughs> so it looked like in the picture. Uh, it is kind of a button, isn't it? But mm. it wouldn't be on the dashboard. Mm. <laughs> Not unless you wanted to have a really bad day. There you go. Just nice. as expected, okay? Yep. Okay, now according to this diagram as well, this uh, black and green wire, which is the other side, so this is like we've we've made our way all the way to the top now, right? Yeah. Um, we'd go back again to IK, which is the same plug, but now pin number two, and that will connect to the fuse box, the turn out fuse, right? Um, and that just goes directly to the battery, pretty much, right? There's probably other little things in between, but basically, if we connect a battery here, it will be like the whole system is working. Okay. Oh, okay. You see my point, right? Yeah. So let me just check this. This is IK should be number two. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. All right? Yeah. That's pin number two on the floor wire panel. Uh, sorry, on the floor wire in the instrument panel. Yeah. Right. To uh, that point there on the stop switch. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, where do we go from here? We could try and connect like further up, right? We could go back and find out uh, where this fuse is. It's in the fuse box on the other side, right? Mm -hmm. But I think what we should do is test at this point. If we connect the battery here and try and use the brake pedal and see if it will close this switch and then turn the lights on, that's decent progress, I think. Yeah, go on. Here we go. And that connects to the Starlet pedal. Who would have known? Who would have known? So it's a Celica loom, isn't it? Here's a Celica loom mm -hmm. on a Starlet brake pedal. <laughs> and it fits the Starlet piece. Cool. So Toyota really do know what they're doing, don't they? Or at least they keep certain parts consistent. Uh, consistent. This should be connected to the battery, the power source, through a 10 amp fuse. 10 amp, 10 amp fuse is definitely on the back of this. And this 100% looks like the cable power. from the power wire. Yeah, right? it is, yeah. So it should be connected there too, just for a fuse. So if I'm, my theory is correct, if I put a continuity test, that's the word I was looking for before, continuity test between there and this point there, it should also beep, I think. Oh, damn, son. One side is working. Okay. I think that's just because of my bad wiring. I've just I've put the brake, brake pedal in. Yep, it's not working now. Boom, and it's working. Yes, the other side is working. Both sides are working, mate. Right. We've got brakes working. This is brake level lever depressed, so push, push down, yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then when you release it... Yep. That's perfect. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm just so happy that one thing works. So I'll just take you back one step here, showing you how am I learning how to do this from this, how to use this manual. <laughs> because if you go inside, it explains what all of these symbols mean on these electrical diagrams. And if you don't have this, it's confusing as balls, right? Because you've got these square, empty rectangles. You've got these oval, uh, grey rectangles. And you've got these oval, plain rectangles, right? And what it turns out is that each of these actually represents a different, different physical connection in your car. That square by itself is a connector which connects two wire harnesses together. Now, the grey ones like this one with an oval that's what we've been like dealing with at the moment they're all the junction boxes and it says that here junction box right? junction boxes have a grey background 
and that's things like that one down there, that instrument panel junction box. Right? Yeah. So the first letter indicates which junction box it is, and then it's a number sometimes. So you've got several of them in the car. If you look here, you've got the instrument panel junction box, that one I just pointed to, and then you've got one in the engine room as well. Yeah, right? that's, yeah. Yeah. There's probably a couple more, but I don't know where the diagrams are that show you where they are. Okay. Right? But, so this is what we're looking for, because sometimes they have an, uh, an I, but then they'll be, like number two will have a two um, on it, and number three will have a three on it, so I'm saying, right? And you've got RB, which is a relay, a relay block. That's when I go back to what the plane oval is. That's the plane oval. So this is a relay block. This is a junction block. So this is, again, the instrument panel junction block, we can see because it's got an I. Right? Yeah. And this one here is a relay, which will be placed somewhere else in your car, like here. It says here, like, ST relay, dimmer relay. There's a, another diagram where sh which shows where all the relays are. Here, if we come onto this side of the diagram, we're on junction blocks. Junction block again, because it's great. Two. Um, IA, IC, IC, right? That's referring to these IA and IC, IC. So this is from the main engine room. There's a loom that comes from the main engine room. That they call the engine room main wire, right? which is that thing that's going through the hole there. Yeah. So according to that, we've got IA one and IC, which is this one, the one underneath it. So this one and this one go to the main engine room. Also this one, right? Mm -hmm. I've, I've circled the ones that do. So we have that one there. That's this. Right. Yeah. And we have uh, IC, that's this one, the blue one. Yeah. And then we've got uh, ID, the one right underneath it, which is that one. If you don't know what ID is yet, if we look up here, it's not marked. So actually IA and IC are the two important ones. So this one, and this one are the two important ones which relate to the power source. Yeah. So the battery is connected through this, basically, through these two wires. So radio, dome, ECU, blah, 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 I don't know. But you've got um, a bunch of other connections here as well. Go, one goes to the ignition switch. Oh, two go to the ignition switch. That makes sense. And a bunch off of this way. Have the fog, door, OBD, sunroof power window I think and then if you follow that line the stop indicator which we've just done tail yeah. light panel panel you know it's all of that's coming off BR1 yeah so blue red from connection one which is this one okay yeah and it makes sense it's a big thick power layer cable isn't it yes in fact it says here it's 120 amps which is a lot and that makes sense if it's doing the ignition as well and that goes to junction box one, which is this thing in the in the car we've identified, right? Yeah. And that's connected to the battery using one more cable from the battery to here. Yeah. Right. And that's it. Once you've connected that to that junction box, everything will become active. Wire, you can have the battery in its place, and it will power the whole system for you. Okay. See, because the rest of the system is powered through here, right? We've only got an hour probably till the sun comes down there.